Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'm going to show you how to make an extra scrappy qu pinwheel quilt. The dies that you'll need for the pinwheel are the 2 inch finished half square tr multiple triangles and the 4 inch finished half square triangles. You may also want a 2.5 inch strip cutter for the sashing. To make the quilt with the piece borders, you'll need a total of 136 of the smaller half square triangles. One of the things I love about this multiple half square triangle die is how quickly you can cut what seems like a lot of triangles. By stacking six layers of fabric, you can get 72 triangles for every pass through the go cutter, which means only two passes through the cutter to get all of the triangles you need for the quilt. You'll also need 36 of the larger half square triangles and 36 two and a half inch squares. Once you have your pieces cut, take a two and a half inch square and two of the smaller triangles and piece them together to create a larger half square triangle. Press open your larger half square triangle and match it up with a large white half square triangle and that'll give you one wedge of your pinwheel. Put together four of the blade units to make each of your nine pinwheels. By using two white half square triangles and a darker large half square triangle, you can use the same technique to make the corner block that's often used in scrap quilts like this one. For complete instructions on how to add the sashing and piece borders to your quilt, please visit my blog, Michelle's Romantic Tangle.